Obviously, Top Gear does not wish to become embroiled in the bitter debate on hunting. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slowly. However, it does seem likely that in the fullness of time, hunting with hounds will be outlawed. And obviously, people will then start to use four-wheel drive cars. And that, I think, is where Top Gear can be of some assistance. So, gentlemen, please, put down your stirrup cups and start your engines. Right, there's the fox, and now the chase is on. Ow. But what is the best car for catching it? Just what is Britain's best 4x4? Four four? Folklore says that the Range Rover is the king off the road. But then folklore also says that fairies live at the bottom of your garden. There's no doubting, however, that when it comes to build quality, nothing on earth even gets close. In fact, we brought two along, in case one breaks down. <laughs> Quiet. That wasn't a joke, that was a lie. You see, we haven't brought two along at all. This is a standard 4.6 litre HSE, but this, oh now this, is an overfinch. And under the bonnet, you get a General Motors 5.7 litre V8 engine. That means 330 brake horsepower, not to 60 in 7 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Oh, and uh, a price tag of £57,000. It's pricey then, and no good for hunting, because most overfinchers have stiffened suspension and road tyres. What we've got here is Nijinsky, fast on the flat but hopeless at Beecher's Brook. This belongs at Silverstone or Newmarket, not here. And if history's anything to go by, this belongs in a quarry. The old Nissan Patrol was seen as a rival, not to the Range Rover, but the JCB Digger. This, however, is the new Nissan Patrol. In whiz-bang trim, it costs more than £30,000, and it's supposed to be soft and genteel. But it isn't. Yes, I've got electric leather seats. Yes, there is wood, and yes, there is air conditioning. But if you drive across a ploughed field in this thing, it'll shake your liver clean out of the bottom of your trousers. And my watch develops more power than the 2.8 litre turbo diesel engine. Not to 60, takes 19.3 seconds. A fox out for a leisurely stroll could outrun me. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. As a hunting tool, it's hopeless. And so is this. <laughs> American Ford Explorer is £4,000 less than the Nissan and nine seconds faster from 0 to 60. It may have hayway and suspension, but in actual fact, it's a bit of a hot rod. Nice dressage routine, but for hunting, I'm afraid it's a bit too brash and shiny. The fox sees it not as a car, so much as a sort of dressing table. You're much better off with the Isuzu Trooper. It comes with a choice of engine, quiet petrol power and 20 miles to the gallon, or diesel clatter and 25 miles to the gallon. This one has the three litre turbo diesel, which is gutsy as hell, but the noise appears to be frightening. Brer Fox. Ah! It must also be said that this duty model is rather spartan. 
However, you do get this button on the dash which engages the four-wheel drive system at anything up to 60 miles an hour. It really isn't a bad car, this, you know, and the range starts at less than £22,000. Half the price of a Range Rover. But it's far from half the car. Thanks to no-nonsense styling and a simple, rugged charm, I have to say, it's very impressive. I'd even choose it in preference to the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Yes, it's a great car, but there's a new model coming next year, so I really can't recommend you buy this one now. So, it's going well for the Isuzu, right up to the moment when it meets the king. And don't think I'm being jingoistic on this one either because I have here a list of Americans who have a Range Rover. Ready? Cher, Tom Cruise, Michael Douglas, Jane Fonda, Michael J. Fox, Dustin Hoffman, Whitney Houston, Janet Jackson, Michael Jackson, Don Johnson, Magic Johnson, Quincy Jones, Barry Manilow, Jack Nicholson, Priscilla Presley, Lionel Richie, Kenny Rogers, Sissy Spacek, Patrick Swayze, Mike Tyson, Eddie Van Halen, Robert Wagner, Bruce Willis, Oprah Winfrey, Deborah Winger, John Ketley, John Cackley? He's not American. But still, you, you get my drift here. The Range Rover is a huge hit in Hollywood, and if you take one to Hollywood in Northamptonshire, you can be assured the font will give in. Oh, oh, surrender. He knows the big Brit can climb every mountain. He knows it can ford every stream. He knows it can follow every rainbow until you find your dream. Let's be honest here. Despite the build quality, there never has been anything to touch the Range Rover. Until now. I really do believe that with this incredible new Land Cruiser Amazon, Toyota has finally clawed its way to the top of the heap. If you're going to buy a big off-road car, then buy a big one. I mean, we all know Range Rovers are large, but this... This is just enormous. It's so vast, in fact, that if you load it up and tow a trailer, technically speaking, it becomes a lorry. And you'd need to fit a tachograph. Unsurprisingly, there is seating inside for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And because it's taller than I am and therefore has the aerodynamic properties of a large house, you'll do about... 14 miles to the gallon, but that said, you've just got to see the view from the driver's seat. <laughs> uh, this is not a car for people with vertigo. It's like sitting at the top of Canary Wharf. But the good thing is, I can see every fox for miles around. You know, I've been to the Australian outback where they know everything there is to know about off-roaders. And this is just about the only car I ever saw. They love it because they know it won't break down. I, on the other hand, love it because at £44,000, it's £7,000 less than a Range Rover. And it's so comfortable and so easy to drive and... Its 4.7-litre V8 engine is almost completely inaudible. Mr. Fox can be lazing away, reading a book, and he'll never hear it coming. Cool. That thing's quiet. Absolutely. It's quiet, it's fast, it's comfortable, it's enormous. It isn't even devastatingly ugly. All things considered, the Toyota Land Cruiser has to be the best off-road car 
that money can buy. Hey, 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 hey. What? How about the new discovery then, eh? I don't know, actually. We haven't tested it yet. Oh, who's testing that then? Uh, Quentin? I tell you, it could actually be Vicky, actually. Oh, Vicky. Foxy chick, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. Word of advice. Don't make jokes like that or people will still hunt you. Yeah. Oh, and another thing. Stop killing chickens. I like chickens.